Welcome to The Photographer Show, where we talk to you, the everyday photographers in the photo focus community, about your love of photography and dig into some of the fun, nerdy stuff we all love about the <laughs> art and craft of photography. My name is Scott Wine-Kivowitz, and I'm joined again by my co-host, Lori Novak. Hi, Lori. Not, hello. How are you guys? <laughs> Good. The not so nerdy we, we, stuff fan. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. And the not so nerdy stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, so before we dive in, The Photographer Show is presented by Tamron. Be sure to check out instant savings on select Tamron lenses for your DSLR or mirrorless camera. Go to tamron-usa.com. And today we are talking, and I hopefully I don't butcher this. I apologize if I do, Darcy. We are talking to Darcy McCutcheon. Did I get Perfect. it right? Perfect. Nice. There we go. You never know these days. It could <laughs> be don't. anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So, so uh, welcome to the photographer show, Darcy. Thank We're you. happy to have you here. Thank you. Um, can you uh, start off to tell us a little bit about yourself or everybody who's watching or listening to um, wow. get to know you? Unlike, unlike a lot of your photographers, I'm not a professional photographer. I have a day job or I should say a night job. I got into photography probably, I've always had a camera as long as I can remember been that annoying person in your face with the camera at family gatherings and things <laughs> like that. I didn't really start my photography journey until I think it was 2012, maybe 2011, around the time I discovered Google+. And I used photography then as a stress reduction. And it was always my enjoyable time to go take a walk in the woods and just photograph whatever I saw. It was a pleasant journey then. And it still is now, but it's a little bit different. I still only do it for myself, usually. I don't really have an online following that I know of. And I'm active in some photography communities. Um, but again, it's usually just for me. You know, in some ways, uh, if, you don't need to, if you don't need to make a living from photography, doing it what you're doing there's nothing better. I mean, yeah. I, I can't tell you how many times I would love to just go sit on the ledge of a beautiful landscape and just get into the Zen zone and just for just make photographs for myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you can so, still do that, yes. but you tend not to, you know, Probably. you just tend I, not to. Right. I, I could, because but I'd the, have it, to have my, my, my wife and kids by my, <laughs> by right. my side. No, right. Which, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, and I do uh, some yeah. work for people, um, but they're mostly friends and family and mm -hmm. just some things that they'd like to have done that they wouldn't otherwise get done. So, Not, not a lot of pressure, necessarily. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. So the first question that we ask every guest is the same one. What was your first camera? My first digital camera, when I actually started taking pictures, was a Sony Cybershot. It was 1998, okay. maybe. They had just come out recently. And interestingly enough, I got one as a Christmas gift to the person whom I gave one in return. It was oh. really, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> awesome. it was funny. <laughs> and did you, go out, did you go out and use them together? Yeah, sometimes we cool. did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and, and what are you I, using these days? A Nikon D750. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's a great camera. It's about at the end of its functional life, I'm afraid. So I'm mm. going to have to think about something else in the future, but not yet. <laughs> are you Are you thinking of staying Nikon or making a switch to something else? What's, I'll probably what's your stay with Nikon, going? mostly yeah. because the lens interchangeability. I don't see spending a lot of money to try and change lenses again. I did that once. I shot Pentax after the after mm. the Sony cyber shot I had. So I was Pentax, I had two bodies that were Pentax and and um, to change lenses to Nikon was a big deal. Yeah, yeah. So are, are you thinking, because you have uh, DSLR lenses, you're thinking of staying in the DSLR world or possibly going to mirrorless and using an adapter? Possibly the mirrorless with an adapter. I'm not sure yet. I'd have to look and kind of try a few yeah. before I can so, make that decision. Rumor has it, so right now the Nikon FTZ adapter that um, I can show you real quick, hold on. This is the Nikon FTZ adapter. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it's got this lovely foot on the bottom that everybody complains about. Uh. <laughs> um, 
the reason why it's here is if you're using a very long lens, you've got your your foot right here in the adapter to take the weight off the lens and the camera. But um, for people who don't have the super long lenses and don't need that foot, rumor has it Nikon's actually coming out with another version that does not have the foot, mm-hmm. um, see. which would be a beautiful thing. <laughs> so um, I, uh, I I switched from, a Nik- from, from the Nikon DSLR system to mirrorless. Both of my, what you see me right now is actually the Nikon Z6. Um, and I actually have a Nikon Z7 II. You can't see it, it's too dark, but it's right behind me. Um, and I have um, two remaining lenses that are still F mount that I have to use this adapter for. Mm-hmm. Everything else I've switched over, thankfully. But um, it, it, even with the adapter, the lenses work beautifully oh, on the mirrorless body. That's good to know. Yeah. Thanks for helping me out yeah. there. Sure. <laughs> Um, so next question, if you could travel anywhere in the world for photography, where would it be? Oh, I think it had to be back to Africa. Um, it was mm. just fabulous. Maybe New Zealand and Australia. We may... yeah, that'd those, be are, good too. those are both beautiful places. Yeah. <laughs> we, may or, we may or may not be looking at some of your Africa photos today. Okay. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, so my next question, I think you just answered, but what was your favorite place to travel so far? It was definitely, it was Africa. It was just yeah. incredibly beautiful. Was that somewhere that you always had wanted to go or did it just come up? Like that- It kind of came up. Um, in fact, it was Ron Clifford that brought it up. He, he was oh, right. thinking about going um, on the trip with right. Ken Kamenetsky with um, Discovery mm-hmm. Photo Tours and... Um, I was interested in that and the opportunity arose that I could actually go. And so I took it. I just took it. I had to. Right. It was the opportunity of a lifetime. I don't I'm blame glad you. I did it then because I wouldn't be able <laughs> yeah. to do it now. So, yeah. 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 I, that's, hmm. that's the one thing that I, I think people don't always take that when it, when it comes, when it presents yeah. itself to you like that. A lot of people give all the good reasons why they shouldn't do it, but there's so many reasons why you should, because you, like you said, you wouldn't be able to do it now. It might That's never right. ever come up again that you're going to be able to. You're right. And, and yes. you know, it's just so many people miss out on things because of that. I think. I'm so glad I did. I, I couldn't be happier about it. Yeah. Your, your images from and, that trip are amazing. Yeah. They're, they're beautiful. And I think what happens after a trip like that, something so epic like that, something that could for many people be a, literally a once in a lifetime right. thing. They may never ever go back there again a trip like that is going to help your photography all around from there on. Yeah. It's not like you're just going there doing, you know, the one photo trip and coming back and you don't take anything away from it. It's with you and you're never going to, you're never going to forget yeah. anything that you learned or tried yeah, or true. did on that trip. Very true. Right. Right. Yeah. The one thing I found on that trip that amazed me was the clarity that came with the use of that humongous long lens I thought, <laughs> i'll be i'll be lucky if i can get this focused correctly but they were beautiful so which lens wonderful. did you which lens so 150 to 600 okay yeah that's okay. yeah that's the the, ta- the tamron or the nikon one it's a, sig- Is that it's the, a sigma lens sigma yeah sigma okay it was fabulous um so I, I, I'm a, when we get to your photos, um, let me know if any of the ones I picked were not from that lens. Okay. But I'm pretty sure the Africa ones were probably all that, just from probably. the subject matter. There weren't. There weren't. <laughs> but, yeah. I had a difficult time not focusing on the animals, on the wildlife. Mm. And so it took me <laughs> right. a few days to figure out, oh, my gosh, the scenery is gorgeous, too. I should really do some landscapes with it. So it was Yeah, hard. but I can't blame right. you for, for focusing. <laughs> I can't blame you for focusing no, so right. much on, on no. the animals. I mean, <laughs> the only chance you get to do that here is if you uh, if you if you go to the zoo Correct. and then you know it's not, not really the same. Photos. Definitely not <laughs> yeah. the same. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. So we know what uh, camera that you're using now. We know what lens you use on this trip that from photos we're gonna be looking at mm-hmm. maybe soon. And um, what is the the sort of the go to software that you use for editing all your work? Photoshop. For majority of your work. Definitely. Photoshop, interesting. Yeah, I'm not yeah. a Lightroom user very much, except for cataloging. I use that as my catalog. Catalog. And I just never really got the hang of that. But Photoshop is my go-to thing. And 
I've been using a little bit of Nick, the Nick collection inside of that. Yeah. And um, I've started using some Luminaire software too. Nice. Have you um have you ever checked out Blake Rudis's um education that he does all about Photoshop? No, I don't think so. No. Nope. I have a really good mentor uh, for Photoshop, F so I I've got yeah. okay. that. <laughs> it's Robin Griggs Wood, yeah. which is fabulous. She's yeah. very good yeah. too, yeah, for sure. Um so when you're using that that big tripod, uh where you I'm assuming you were, I mean, sorry, that big lens. I'm assuming you were on a tripod, not handheld. No, we were not um, on a tripod. Maybe you were not. So were you resting it on like a, on a truck or yeah, anything? Yeah, I was using a bean bag, a big bean bag, heavy. Nice. And it was rested on the top of the safari van. You know, the top comes up on these vehicles. And so you're shooting right. between right. the top and the frame of the vehicle. So right. sandbags. Cool. Yeah. So. Yeah, like a, a lens that's that far uh, handheld would not be very fun. Yeah, that's <laughs> a lens that big, a lens that heavy. That was my fear. Um, yeah, and right. Yeah, yeah. Beanbag was a good was a good choice. You brought that, or you wind up? Uh, they supply they it. They supplied many of them. Some people brought theirs. Oh, I good. packed a bag of rice, a five pound bag of rice. <laughs> I was going to use, <laughs> but the, they had sufficient things to do, so I gave yeah. that rice. You get up. to the you get to the airport. Yeah, you get to the airport and they're like, well, you can bring the rice or you can bring clothes. You choose. <laughs> right. <laughs> you had to pack very light. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course. Fortunately, you're going to a place that's nice and warm. So the clothes that you have to wear are also very light. Yes, they were. Um, so that's a nice, nice advantage. Um, so I want to take a short break to remind everyone that PhotoFocus has, a, has launched a, the, its own community. Head over to PhotoFocus.com, click on the community link in the menu to join exclusive conversations, events, and you get to hang out with Lori all the time. So, I mean, what's, that, what's better than that? <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's all right. Um, so so when, you're, when, you're, when you're back home photographing wherever you go in your area, um, when you're not on an epic Africa trip, what is your what's your go to lens at that point? What's your favorite lens to use on a regular basis? I think my one oh five um macro lens probably. That's a beautiful yeah, lens. Yeah, I love the lens. Yeah, it's very nice. That <laughs> that's one of my uh last remaining F mount lenses that I don't want to get rid of. <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't either. I, I recently rented a yeah. F one point four. And it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. Yeah, those are nice. Because you've been doing some sure. portraits. Yes. I, I'm assuming you're doing that for portraits because yes. you've been doing a little bit of yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, I have. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, let's take a look at some of your photos. I think this 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 was a zoo a zoo photo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> no, I'm sorry so, to disappoint you. So, it was not. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what's you know what's so amazing about this? Um, you captured. A photo of a lion literally at what's left of a watering hole or yeah. something and that's not a that's not a common thing to see every day uh, I mean yeah. maybe it is in Africa but yeah I don't know <laughs> yeah. I, mean, but, it, it, I didn't see very many of them this instance was the only one that I saw while we were there and I was there almost two weeks so yeah and so can, can you yeah, so can you can you talk about this um i, I mean when we, i'm assuming this was your 600 lens it you was know, but it was shot at a focal length of 150 mm -hmm. millimeters so he really wasn't that wow. far away um wow. and it was amazing to me the frame before this he wasn't looking up he, his eye line sight was down and so i was really fortunate to capture that look um which really stood out to me in addition sculpting of his body from all the exercise was mm. fabulous right. um the background was not that great because it's very stubbly there i don't uh, this area was quite dry even though some of the grass is green there the background was really quite dry um and he was a lone animal out in that area where we were that day so there wasn't a lot of animals around him just happened to be walking through and stopped at those puddles. Yeah, you don't really choose those times, you know. You, you have to take the opportunity that's presented to you. It, I'm surprised that that the uh, that it, that he was all by himself. That there was no, you know, like you would think like, okay, where's his pack, right? There are um, a lot of lone males. But I guess maybe, 
Hmm. Yeah. I, the 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 stare that you're kind of getting in this frame too. <laughs> uh, it, like I can I can see what's going through his mind. He's saying, "If you come closer, I'm going to lick your face and then eat your face. <laughs> so so you stay back and you can take a picture of me all you want. That's what's going through his head right now." Um, <laughs> it's funny what we project on animals, isn't it? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it right? is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. M meanwhile, really, the it, it, if you were, you know, it, it would probably come to you and like rub its head on you and, you know, right. get all cuddly. But, yeah, don't but it looks ferocious. I don't think <laughs> yeah. it would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so so yeah, you did you did some photoshop work yes. to, to to clear up the foreground the background make it and i i like that softening effect i think that worked really well to um to enhance you yeah know, that was my the, focus the animal, was enhancing right? the so, animal as opposed to the background right it wasn't really contributing great yeah awesome and i i you know the the color tone that's going through here definitely has a, a very africa feel to it the very um sand like mm -hmm. colors the dirt like colors you know, it, it just works well overall. I, I love the, I love this you. photo. Um, obviously, it caught my attention, <laughs> and, and I'm sharing it. <laughs> um, so we're going to shift gears for a okay. second and look at something that's not okay. an animal before we go back to animals okay. again. Okay. Oh. So. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you picked oh this gosh. one. I love this. Uh, this was actually a travel photo, yeah. too, really. <laughs> so so talk to me okay. about this. Uh, is So... There's two ways that this could that this could be going down right now. This is either a really a really elegant composite or a masterful reflection. It's an elegant composite, right? I guess. Then uh, the, that you describe it as elegant yeah. warms my heart. <laughs> it is elegant. It's gorgeous. It is a very it's absolutely. Yeah, it's so pretty. I I noticed that one too, and I I was like, well, it'd be cool if Scott picked that because I don't think I've ever seen that shot before oh, really? of yours. Oh, wow. Not that I, I remember. so hard with Robin. And It's beautiful. Um, thank you. That is a shot of a sunset in the clouds from an airplane on my wow. return from St. John in the Virgin Islands. Huh. And the sailboat was on the Caribbean during my trip. And when I saw the clouds like that, it looked like a winding river through the clouds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what came out of it. I, I it love hangs it. above yeah. my bed. <laughs> oh, very cool. No, it's because it's very peaceful and like like calm. You know, yes. it just gives that feeling of, of like, ah, you know, and just going to relax. the colors are that way too. Right? I think yes. the colors help. Right. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. The, the, the only thing I think it needs uh, for if it was to hang in a kid's room is Peter Pan flying through sure. it. But other than that, uh, <laughs> Tinkerbell. <I> th <laughs> Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell, right? oh, Tinkerbell would be good too. Yeah. 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 Um, some, yeah. some, pi some pixie dust coming off the, off the pirate ship. Um, it's, yeah, yeah it's, awesome. it's beautifully done. Uh, I, I love it. It definitely caught my attention. Um, oh, and, uh, you know, even before you mentioned Robin, you can tell there's some Robin influence in this. You can tell. <laughs> Oh. Right, because it just has that magical quality that Robin is so good at, and uh -huh. and you got you got that definitely. Oh, She'll be like glad yeah. to hear sure. that, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Oh. All right, uh, we're, we're we're back to Africa again. Yes. Again. Yes. Is so that amazing? Um, it is so. It amazing. is. I mean. It, it how in the world did you, you you timed it so perfectly to get three of them three of them going down the there were so many there that you couldn't help but get a few more than one it was that crossing that was on the mara river in northern tanzania that crossing must have lasted 40 to 45 minutes and they just wow. kept coming and coming wow. and coming and you know those wildebeests are very large. Their shoulders yeah. mm -hmm. stand at at least five feet. So can you see how high that drop is? That's yeah. crazy. It's amazing. So when you, sh when you shot this, did you do you shoot in sports mode ever when you're doing stuff like this? <clears throat> I or wasn't or shooting you... in sports mode, but okay. I, I had or like continually... my slow, continuous function right. available. Right. So I probably shot that in a burst of three or four. Right. Um, but, oh, my gosh. Just to be yes. there and see that is much less be able right. to capture it, you know. Yeah. To see it. Was, that, was that a 
Was that a ground shaking? Like, did you feel yes. all the running? Yes. In- <laughs> well, especially when they're coming up the other side. See, we're on the other side of the river. Mm. You can't see the river because it's in right. front of us. Um, but we're on the other side of the river. And then they're all coming up this hill. And they're within probably like 15 you, feet of our of. vehicle as they come up this hill. And you oh my could gosh. literally feel that. Right. Mm-hmm. That's intense. Wow. Yeah. So, are, yeah. so I, I, it's hard to tell, but are they running down there or are they jumping they're jumping that's that a cliff, is crazy and they are how do they not hurt themselves right that's <laughs> unfortunately crazy. That's a right. couple of them did and didn't get oh. up i'm sure they broke oh. legs, legs are... oh. and it was unfortunate to see that because you just know that they are some other animals there's, there's another meal, meal for yes. somebody yeah right. and you know yep. that the circle, circle of life, of life. Circle of life. Yes. <laughs> but, but it was amazing that out of all those thousands and thousands of right. wildebeests that I think only two, I only saw two that were injured. Mm. Wow. What an experience. That yeah. really is. It was. Yeah. The image captures all that. Yeah. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. I'm That's sure on this good. trip you, 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 you saw a lot of sites that were similar in intenseness to this. Yeah. Um, um, yes. I, I, yeah, that was incredible. We saw four crossings yeah. in the, three days that wow. we were up in the northern wow. Mara region and it was amazing they were all amazing it's really cool none quite as intense as that though <laughs> you could just, just hear the other people we were crossing. with going yeah. <gasps> oh right <laughs> <laughs> i think i would be like i would get to i would be like i would forget to that i had my camera on me like watching something like that you know what i mean mm-hmm. because you're it's it's so something you would never see, obviously, here. Yeah, and you, you have know, to put your camera down sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. I would forget, the, I think, that I had it. Yeah. I'd imagine that with with um, with how many were crossing, that you had enough time to, like, look through the camera, put it down. Look yes. through the camera, put Breathe. it down. That it was, yes. Yeah. For, yeah. You know, for 40 Take minutes, you can't hold the camera to yeah. your eye for that right. long. Right. Yeah. The whole time. Yeah. But your, your eye will start twitching. To. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, this is this is such a great one. Thank you. Um, all right. Last photo. So this one, uh, I loved. So I was looking at this small first. I'm looking through all of your thumbnails. Uh-huh. And what caught me at first were the colors of how vibrant and different the colors were throughout the photo. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, you see that they're zebras, and zebra- zebras are absolutely stunning animals. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I love this photo from top down. There are so many great qualities about this. Um, the clouds in the background, you know, almost have this Bob Ross feel to it, like very softness, <laughs> uh-huh. like that transition. Yeah. Uh, you could probably see my mouse, right? You can see the mouse, right? Or can you not see my mouse? Uh, no, I can't. Oh, you can. Yeah, just a little oh, bit. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Like, it is. Okay, now I see it. Like yeah. right here. That is t- totally a Bob Ross transition right there. <laughs> um, and... And um, yeah, so I, I love it. I love how how vibrant the greens are. Um, you can see the movement in the tree that's right sort of on mm-hmm. the left. Uh, it's just such an elegant photo um, again. And well, you got at least you. one zebra looking at you, which is cool. Yeah, th- that was in the Nangorogoro crater, the, the volcanic caldera that's not been active for a billion years. But it's about, mm. I think it's 100 square, 100 square miles an area and all these animals live in there. It's just fabulous. But the rim of it is like rainforest. So that's where all those clouds come from. They hang around there all the time. And you can see that softness where the um, cloud cover kind of comes down into the caldera a little bit. Um, But some of the wispiness you see in the background in the center, just beyond those middle zebras, it's from a salt lake that's in there. Oh. There's a natural salt lake in there, which during this season was mostly dry. So it is essentially a huge natural salt lick for the animals. Oh, but right. the dust in there, the wind would whip up some yeah. dusty clouds. So I think that contributes to it. It does. It adds another layer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Very you cool. can't really see it, it very well in that a... photo, but in others you can see it. it. Is that a vulture hanging out there? Yes. Oops, it is. Let's see if I can get to it. Yes, it is. That it's is a, a marabou stork. He's just waiting. Uh huh. Oh, okay. He's very big, actually. Probably four feet tall. <laughs> oh, <God>. Wow. 
Wow. Oh, and there's some antelope it's back amazing. there, too. Some, uh, yeah. I think they're Hartman's antelopes. I don't know. I can't remember the name of them. Thompson's. Oh, like over, like over here, you mean? Um, to the right a little bit. Behind the vulture, a little bit to the left of the zebras behind the vulture. See right here? Well, you can't see my mouse. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm pointing right? at the screen. No. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, um, yeah, no, it's, I, I think I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about, right? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, yes, you can't see my Yes, exactly. I so see well, it. But, mm -hmm. like, yep, yeah, you're right. Right, right there. there. Um, yeah, this is such a beautiful photo. I And Thank I think uh, zebras are one of my favorite animals, just from oh. look-wise, not necessarily like, you know, uh, Anything else besides there were I guess, the look just of the zebra. Herds of them, <laughs> which they actually call zeals, a zeal of zebras. Mm -hmm. yeah. All, and they crossed yeah. a lot with the the wildebeest on the river. They're kind of intermixed with a lot of the mil oh. wildebeest herds. So you see them a lot in concert with wildebeest. That's cool. Amazing. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So 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 overall this was a horrible trip and you never <laughs> want to go back to Africa again. <laughs> It was fabulous. <laughs> awesome. So awesome. I love when people get to do that. I really, really love when people actually go and and have those trips of a lifetime. Yeah. It's because yes. I think that you change mm -hmm. from those kind of trips. Amazing. You know? I, I, yeah. I have concern that at some time that won't be there. And I right. really mm -hmm. wanted to see that in my lifetime. So right. yeah. it was an amazing journey. Excellent. Cool. Um, so uh, as we wrap up, I have one final uh -huh. question for you, and that is, can you share a, uh, a tip for photographers about either technique or equipment, maybe equipment that you experiment in with in Africa or anything, anything you can share with anybody watching to give them some sort of snippet of advice to walk away from? One of the tips uh, that I from, got with. was actually from Ron Clifford, and I used it on this mm -hmm. trip, and it worked absolutely fabulously and that was using an iso auto setting while i was out because mm. you have to i needed to set my shutter speed so high because i wanted to make sure that i wasn't capturing a lot of movement that i wasn't capturing a little handshake especially shooting like we were right and it was it worked phenomenally because i could shoot at a oh, one one twenty two hundredth of a second or one three hundred three thousandth of a second and still the iso wasn't raised above 300 or 400 but it allowed me to shoot like that knowing that i could capture that movement without movement artifact right when when you have um animals that are so unpredictable the less that you can worry about exactly right, with setting about, wise yes yeah, um, is is a big advantage. So that is definitely the perfect opportunity to take advantage of auto ISO. One hundred percent agree. Yeah. yeah, it was definitely Great. that worked out really well. I know that I wouldn't have had awesome. photos like that if I hadn't used that. Yeah, Girl, awesome. Yeah, and they they came out so good. Thank you. I'm sure you you must be so proud of yourself. I am. Um, I'm and I can't wait. Even, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I can't wait till you have a chance to go back and, oh. and to travel to additional epic places so we can see more of your oh, great, thank you very much. great travel work. Thanks so much for yeah, having me. Yeah. It was really wonderful. Yeah, I'm glad you could sure. come on with us. Um, thank you. So uh, I know you're not, you're not very active on social or anything. Is there any place where photographers can check you out? They want to see more of your work? Wow, that's kind of a hard question right now. Um, I do. <laughs> Um, I post all, some of my stuff on Tipua, T I P U A, dot com, and although it's um, a, kind of a private community, not really semi-private, but public can see what images are there, yeah. So they could browse mm -hmm. images through there. But until I have a site, a website, or um, a site like um, what's it called, Lori? Uh, like a Flickr um, or something? Uh, or oh, like Fine Art America or something like Fine that? Fine Art maybe? America. Yeah. yeah. I do have an account there. I just really haven't utilized it much. <laughs> yeah. So 
I, I'm all in due sorry, time. It's hard to all in due time. Yeah. Well, um, we'll be sure to link to um, where you do, you know the gallery that you do okay. have, so everybody can check thank it out. You. Um, so thank you so much, Darcy, for joining oh, yeah. Corey and I My today. Pleasure. Believe me. Um, to, yeah, so we had a good time, <laughs> and uh, I love looking at your work, and I can't wait to see more. Like Thanks I said, very much. I have Thanks, more to well. post, Thanks. so there'll be some more. Good. <laughs> awesome.